Good morning, and thank Nomura to invite us to speak in this conference. I'm Paolo Bird. I'm the CEO of ACTA. Uh, ACTA is an Italian clean tech business and listed uh, on the uh, AIM on 2005. Uh, ACTA has developed uh, some uh, market-leading products for generating dry, pure, compressed hydrogen and is founded on our core catalyst and membrane IP. We have developed complete products, electrolyzers, stacks, and components. Our technology is disruptive across multiple markets. We already gain commercial traction within addressable markets, and our products are already selling at a positive gross margin. Our strategy is to sell AES stacks to electrolyzer manufacturer and complete electrolyzers to system integrators and distributors for industrial gas market. Our objective is to bring the cost of on-site hydrogen production well below that uh, eight euro a kilogram price target that was set by uh, European um, to enable the um, hydrogen uh, to be uh, used without uh, subsidies as a fuel and as an energy vector. I have a short slot and I will have uh, probably to say why ACTA <coughs> exists. Uh, so I'll excuse, but I have to go a little technical. Uh, Two technologies exist to produce hydrogen. One is the alkaline electrolyzer, which has a widespread use. In a liquid caustic potassium electrolyzer, water is split in hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is generated at the uh, negative electrode and oxygen at the positive electrode but there is no physical barrier that separates the two gases, and uh, they are simply separated by current polarization. Therefore, if current fluctuates uh, below a limit that uh, increases uh, with the um, compression rate, the two gases may form an explosive mixture. This is the reason why this type of electrolyzer cannot take uh, a zero to 100% power fluctuation. And therefore, they are not ideally suited uh, as they are to uh, intermittent power supply such as uh, uh, wind uh, or solar or very unstable uh, mains power supply, as you would find in some third world countries. Uh, of course, uh, the, um, the technology is absolutely well proven and absolutely robust, and this is a great advantage. Another great advantage is the fact that there is no noble metals used uh, in this technology, and therefore the cost uh, is uh, uh, accessible. One disadvantage on the other end is that the use of uh, um, potassium hydroxide uh, tends to uh, create a carbonate, and uh, uh, this requires purging and replacement. Also, another problem may be the fact that hydrogen is wet and uh, requires uh, gas water separation, which adds machine complexity. On the other end, another well-proven technology is PEM electrolyzer. 
they use solid polymeric electrolyte where hydrogen finds a physical barrier between the oxygen. And therefore, even under pressure, the two gases will never blend. In this case, obviously, power can vary from zero to 100%, and this makes it very suitable for intermittent power. This technology, as I said, is well proven, but unfortunately, the membrane is highly acidic, and therefore, it's, we need to use noble metals that have mostly limited their application to military and lab uses, again, due to cost. Also, there is a water transport across the membrane. So the hydrogen has to be separated again from water, which adds some complexity to the system. Finally, PEM uses ultra pure water, and this is not uh, easily available. I'm sorry, <laughs> forget simply to move the slides. Now, ACTA. The ACTA electrolyzer, likewise a PEM electrolyzer, use a solid polymeric membrane. So we can handle zero to 100% power fluctuation under complete safety. But our membrane is alkaline. So like in the case of the liquid uh, 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 alkaline electrolyzer, we use no noble metals. There is no water transport across the membrane, so the system is extremely simplified. And the hydrogen produced, as comes from the machine, is already suitable for most applications without further in machine treatment. <coughs> Finally, we use distilled water, plain distilled water, which is in smaller units available at supermarkets and gas station. And we can also use rainwater uh, filtered. Indeed, there is always a negative in life. <laughs> Indeed, our technology is absolutely new. And uh, it's already proven across different, different sectors, but we started uh, from a small units, and we are still growing in scale. Today, we are producing machine capable of 2.5 kilograms. So we really cannot access the large megawatt system. But there is no question that there is no reason why we shouldn't do. We just need the time to develop. And we are already about to develop a 10 kilogram a day system. Our, the major advantage of our system, again, is the low cost, the compactness, and the safety that it delivers. Given the smaller size of the unit, we are addressing for the moment the backup power the light mobility, the energy storage at micro distributed level, and the hydrogen flame. In the UPS, this is, in our sector, the fastest growing fuel cell market, which offers commercial advantages over battery-based system. The problem for this system is, especially in developing countries, especially in developing countries, the <coughs> cost of hydrogen, bottle hydrogen, and the delivery logistics. Our system solves both problems, generating on site hydrogen at a very competitive cost. We have uh, the ability, as I said, to use renewable power. 
and to use rainwater. Today, we supply stacks and electrolyzers to system integrators. In future, our model is just to supply stacks. In the light mobility sector, we have uh, a, uh, an intense activity. This slips. <laughs> With uh, APFCT out of Taiwan. They produce uh, full cell scooters. Uh, they have already supplied uh, the uh, Taiwanese Transport Authority with uh, 20 scooters that have run uh, 100,000 kilometers in the island. They have been approved. The Taiwanese government uh, has placed an order for a AP scooters uh, to be used as a beta test uh, in the island. And uh, based on their experience on AFC scooters, they have issued their um, road, uh, road uh, certification rules, which are now being adopted uh, by China. These scooters are already road approved. The problem for the wide adoption is indeed uh, the distribution of hydrogen, which APFCT has solved by uh, building a um, uh, a cylinder uh, replacing station, refilling station, so that uh, the gas cylinder can be quickly extracted and uh, replace the with filled one. ACTA has a contract with APFCT to develop the refilling station based on our uh, electrolyzer powered by uh, solar energy and from grid using rainwater for feed. <coughs> Distributed power, uh, Daryl is perfectly explain uh, the situation in this field. Uh, one, of, one of the problems uh, of the introduction of renewables indeed is the peak power shaving. Uh, one of the biggest market uh, uh, for photovoltaic is uh, Germany and uh, a lot of photovoltaic is installed on roof. That model is now followed also by Italy, and many other countries will follow. Um, for this reason, we have uh, a partnership with the company Heliocentris, uh, and they have launched, launched a new division to boost uh, this market. The concept is to have energy storage and reutilization on, on, through hydrogen as a micro-distributed level. The hydrogen-oxygen flame is another quite obvious application. This is a non-fuel cell dependent uh, system, and we are exploring this across uh, uh, several, uh, com several uh, companies in Europe, in Brazil, and uh, now in Australia. As we have already gone through, hydrogen cost is a major factor for the introduction of fuel cell. And uh, uh, current hydrogen, uh, industrial hydrogen supply in Europe is above this target. Outside Europe, the prices are much higher. Indeed, and this is a limiting factor for fuel cells. Uh, already, alkaline electrolyzer, starting from a 10 cubic meter hour, are already capable of meeting uh, those requirements. 
acta electrolyzer, even at the <coughs> small size of 2.5 kilograms, 2.3 kilograms a day, are already capable to meet that requirement. The benefits, again, to uh, summarize the benefits of our system is, again, low cost, safe, compact. We believe that this will make a fuel cell for industrial and consumer application possible in the market. Well, I like the scooter so much uh, that uh, I wrote it. <laughs> uh, this is client endorsement. We have in several customers now supporting our product. I would summarize uh, with the words of uh, SEFCA, our uh, Australian distributor words, uh, distributor, uh, that ACTA Hydrogen Break 2 brings a breakthrough to the market in Aus that Australia has been waiting for. SEFCA has a good understanding of the hydrogen requirement needs because they have supplied the backup power station with, uh, uh, from several US manufacturers based on PEM. And uh, they are right now in the process of receiving a, uh, a system completely integrated, PEM and the ACTA electrolyzer uh, that will be shipped soon. Uh, and installed by a telco company. Just to close, I think ACTA is finally gaining a commercial momentum. Uh, this technology new, but with a great potential of growth. We have started uh, with the 100 liter uh, hour, and we are now already at the 1,000 liter an hour. and. Uh, before the end of the year, we will be presenting our five cubic meters, 5,000 liters an hour system. And uh, we think we will soon take uh, our technology up to really working into the megawatt. But this, of course, will take the time. It's a new technology, but is indeed is a great technology. There is no reason why this cannot be expanded. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.